in this video we're going to be installing new lighting into my bearded dragon's enclosure but we're going to be talking you through the proper lighting setups for a bearded dragon but we're not just going to do like all the other videos that are six and seven years old we're going to do it with the modern day technologies and the modern day sciences everything you see is up to date for 2020. so if you're new around here uh, my name is Richard, this channel is called Northern Exotics and we basically bring you all the modern day everything to do with reptiles, whether it be specific species, care, whether it be breed your own live food or amazing little reptile hacks. That's what we bring you. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So the older way of doing things is it's still the sort of done way of lighting your bearded dragon. It needs a special lighting, it's called a UVB lighting and it needs a 12% and it needs to stretch the length of the enclosure. Now, that's always been known, it's well commonly known, with a 12 hour on and a 12 hour off cycle to replicate that day and night routine. The reptile hobby in general at the moment is going through a really big change into more enriching environments, adding stuff to the enclosures just to help your animal's mental well-being. Not just that, to see if it physically benefits the animal. Now for me, I keep reptiles because I've got that lovely slice of nature in my home. That's the reason I keep reptiles, because it's absolutely beautiful. You can great to interact with some of the pets. Now I want to add UVB lighting to my bearded dragon on a sunrise, a midday higher UVB output and a sunset, just like they'd see in the wild. And that's gonna help bring his natural wild behaviors out, which is what I want. The product I'm gonna use is Reptile Systems Twin T5 Luminaire. Absolutely perfect piece of kit. So while I'm unboxing this out and getting it ready to stick into the enclosure, if you wanted to see more information about this video, I'll link a card just here. That'll take you through to Reptile System UK's actual YouTube page. And it's got a much more in-depth video about this product. But I absolutely love this product. It's a bearded dragon on the front. Look how cute he is. He's amazing. But yeah, that's that. And so right. In this, I've got the two UVB bulbs, the T5. 12% uh, and a 6% UVB bulb. That'll come more apparent and more clear once we start getting it installed. And then we've got da -da 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 -da, a couple of plugs because this runs off two different plugs because there's two different bulbs in this product. One which helps the sunrise, one which helps the sunset, and one which helps the mid, yeah, it's just, everything's good. And then we've got the mountain brackets. Now the thing I like about these mountain brackets is it makes it easy to, makes it easy to install. Let me show you why. So. There's the product. You can put two bulbs in it, water resistant, all that sort of stuff. And that's the back of the product. Now, let me see if I can get it a bit more angled for you. Can you see doo -doo -doo, those two grooves? That's the mounting bracket and it fits onto the ceiling inside your enclosure. And then, let's see if I can get it. It just sort of, oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's a bit hard doing this one-handed. Ah, yeah, there we go. So that fits on top of the enclosure. You put your strip on and you slide it on and then it fastens to the top of the enclosure with that little hole just there. You can get a suspension kit. If you've got a really tall enclosure, there's a suspension kit available. But what we have to do is fit these into the top of the enclosure and then slide that unit on. Let's go over to Diego, my bearded dragon. So this is Diego. This is my bearded dragon's enclosure. First job is I've got to get him out because well, it would just be a lot easier if he was out of the enclosure because I've got to strip out his old UVB lighting because that's going to get reused. That has gone below the 12% uh, UVB output for him, so it's no longer good enough for him. However, that is still good enough for leopard geckos. So I'm going to reuse that for leopard geckos. It is still within the Ferguson scale for leopard geckos, which is absolutely amazing. It's going to work for him. Recycle, why not? And then he's going to get that new T5 Twin Illuminaire. Luminaire, I keep saying Illuminaire. But right, I've got to pull him out, pull the enclosure out, get behind it to strip it. He's out, I've got to clear the top off because that's our Dubia Roach breeding colony. If you want to learn how to breed Dubia Roaches to give yourself some free live food, I'll stick a card just there for you. But let's go. First, we've got to make sure all the lights are off. We don't want no electric running to it because you could get electrocuted. So we've just got to unplug the bulb and get the bulb out. Then we can go ahead and get the old wires out because this is a whole new system, not just an entire new bulb. If you can hear some scratching, if you can hear some scratching, that's Diego. There we go. 
there's the old bulb. So this is the joy of making your own enclosures. You know where everything goes, how everything goes in. I've totally made this whole enclosure. I'll show you around it at the end. But what I need to do now is get the UVB bulb strip lights, the actual fixings, out of the enclosure totally and make room for the new ones to go in. Right, we've got these two brackets. Now they have to be fastened to the ceiling of the enclosure with just a simple screw, nothing special. But if I fasten them both solid, how am I supposed to get them on, so to speak? Because I can't just clip them up or anything. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put the one nearest this side wall. Diego, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to fit this one nearest the wall, but quite a way in so that I can stick it on. And then I can twist, get it in so far, get the other one set there, and then I can slide the whole unit back onto it so it's nice and secure up there. I hope that made sense, because it made sense in my head. Well, that was harder than it looks. Let's get everything in. Well, that was a right palaver trying to get that in there, but check it out, it's in. Now it's just a case of make space out the back for the wires, because in here, I don't have any traditional round vents. As like I say, I made this enclosure myself. So, Diego, Diego, stop. Thank you. I made this myself, so I've got one big square vent in the middle at the top, and then long strip across the whole back, so I have that little bit of extra ventilation but this has got two plugs so i'm going to thread it through now plug it in and i'm going to show you how to adjust it there you go so it's all in it's all wired up and just a case now of, uh, i've tacked the wires to the ceiling behind it so you can't really see anything i've got to plug the bulbs in plug the actual plugs in and then set the timers so i'll show you that now as you saw, there was two slots in there for two different bulbs. Two bulbs come with this kit. Uh, we have got a 12% UVB and a 6% UVB. The 6% aids in um, the general sunrise and the sunset. Diego, he's so noisy today. He doesn't like to be in that box. I, I'm just gonna hurry up and get these in, then show you the time and then I'll be able to get him back into his enclosure. These are just genuine T5 bulbs, you can see the little pins there. They just go straight into the sockets on each side, clip it up nice and easy. But like I say, I've got two. The 6% I'm gonna put at the front, the 12% I'm gonna put at the back. Holy mother of God, how bright is that now? Just goes to show just how deficient my last bulb actually was. But they're both on at the minute, so this is the higher UVB output that you'd replicate for midday. Let me just run you through the rest of it now. So as I did state at the start of this video, this product, I got it to replicate a sunrise, a midday higher UVB output that they'd naturally receive in the wild, and a sunset. How do I do that? Well, you do that with external timers. You can set the 6% UVB bulb to come on first thing in the morning. That's just replicating the sunrise. About an hour later, maybe 45 minutes later, you put the 12% on, but turn the 6 off. So your animal has got his natural 12% UVB output. You leave that 12% on all day until you get to the sunrise bit, but we're not there yet. And So you leave that 12% on all day. That is what your animal would naturally need. That's what he needs in captivity and stuff like that. Throughout the middle of the day, so the highest, the point where the sun is always the highest in the natural wild, you whack that 6% bulb back on again, and then you've got that little bit of extra UVB lighting that your animal would actually naturally receive in the wild. This brings out a lot of naturalistic behaviors in your actual animal. And then come towards sort of two o'clock, one, two o'clock-ish, you turn that 6% off because the sun's starting to set now slowly starting to set so the UVB has dropped a little bit more. You'd normally find that's where the animals would come out and start hunting and stuff like that. And then again, come sort of six o'clock, just the 6% on and not the 12%, that replicates the sunrise, the sun go down. Then eventually off goes the lights, that's all the lights off, ready for the cycle to start again in the morning. Your 6%, then your 12%, then your six and the 12%, then the 12% and then the 6%. And that replicates 
an all day cycle that they're naturally receiving in the wild. It's mind blowing the amount of naturalistic behaviors that you will see come out of your animal. Like when in the natural wild, midday, they'll probably go off and hide under a bush or something. So you may need to make sure that you, if you use this product and do exactly what I'm doing here, make sure you've got enough little hiding places for your animal if he does require a little bit of hide if he wants to get out of the UVB rays he can but this is the modern day way the modern way of doing things it's the reptile hobby moving forward in society let me show you in detail there's Diego just there first thing in the morning the 6% will come on about 45 minutes later the 12% comes on but then the 6% goes off that's his natural cycle midday sort of times when he has the high UVB output both the bulbs come on, look how bright that is, and he'll love it then. Come around about sort of two o'clock when everything starts going down, it starts cooling down a little bit, the 6% will go off and you're left with the 12% only. Come sunset time, the 6% will come on, but the 12 will go off and that replicates everything. Then, boof, everything goes off, he'll tuck himself up, get ready for bed, that's it, ready for the next day, the next cycle to start again. And he absolutely loves it. This is just part of the process of my bearded dragon Diego going fully bioactive and fully naturalistic. So as you can tell, he's got all the full uh, background. I built that all myself years ago. Um, he's got the required UVB setup for his um, sunrise, sunset, natural midday, higher UVB output. And then the next thing I've got to do to him is his naturalistic bioactive substrate. I can't wait to start getting that in. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button, guys. I'd really appreciate it.